Oh, it's a superior body. It's the biggest society in reproductive medicine. Asia represents the best that there is in reproductive biology and medicine. Networking visionary. Ashray was created by Robert Edwards and Jean Kuhn in 1984. Eshrae remains the visionary project of Robert Edwards, Nobel laureate and IVF pioneer, who established a European society with its own annual meeting, its own journals and its own courses. Well, the membership of Eshrae, which combines both clinical and scientific knowledge, is now up to 7,000 members from around 120 countries across the world. It is reflected in the diversity of the 14 special interest groups. You see people from different countries coming, coming together to share ideas. It became like a family for me. It's, it's almost 20 years now. So it is something very prestigious to be part of this family. The annual meeting is the most important activity. We need meetings like this to, to consolidate and to bring everyone together. The first annual meeting of Eshire was held in Bonn in 1985. At that time there were only 500 participants, while nowadays we have more than 10,000 attending. The annual meeting is extremely successful, I think for a couple of reasons. First of all, the quality of the scientific content and second because the community has the chance to meet and network and this is a tremendous advantage that we have. At the moment actually has four journals. The oldest journal is Human Reproduction and in 1996 there was added Human Reproduction Update, which is a journal of review papers, and Molecular Human Reproduction, which is a journal for basic science in reproduction. And it's only this year, 2017, that a fourth journal was added, Human Reproduction Open, which is an open access journal that allows all papers to come in and be seen for free. Till now, all reproductive journals have been, have been at an impact factor less than five. And now this year, for the first time, human reproduction has passed the five, which means that we are the top journal in reproductive medicine and biology, and we have passed all the other journals in the world. I'm really a fan of this Asher Campus workshops. The campus workshops that are organized by special group of embryology had always been one of my favorite ones. We have around 15 campus courses per year. We also have our uh, pre-congress courses. We have hands-on training. We have the most we have state of the art lectures. We have the most uh, innovative new data and techniques being presented. You can go to the e-learning center and look at our uh, lectures there. You can also go to the website. We have been very active uh, with our guideline development program. So we have guidelines on different fields. So we have guidelines on endometriosis, on like social care, premature ovarian insufficiency. But we also have a guideline on good practice in IVF labs and uh, recurrent pregnancy loss. In 2014, we created the research grant program that is on a biannual basis aimed at supporting and sponsoring research projects made by teams uh, of both clinicians or scientists. At present we have three uh, certification schemes. We have the schemes for the embryologists, which started in 2008 already. We have the certification scheme for the reproductive surgeons and for now for the nurses and midwives. Since 1997, ESHRI hosts mainly two uh, data collections, one on ART from the EIM consortium and one on PGD from the PGD consortium, and they both report on a yearly basis. ESHRI is an open, inclusive and growing community where members can meet world leaders in human reproduction and is particularly receptive to the needs and wishes of young members. ESHRI is the reference point in reproductive medicine.